everyone, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I am here with what I wore in February, which was not a lot. You may or may not have noticed that I wasn't present on social media as much as I normally am in the month of February. Uh, to start with, I broke every nail on my swatch hand. I think four out of five nails I broke. So I just wasn't focused on, I was wearing polish, so I've got a lot of rewears this month, but I wasn't post actively posting on Instagram and things because the nails were just broken. So I was just enjoying wearing my collection and kind of forgot about the social media element of it until my nails got back um, and growing along and healthy again and I was able to swatch. So apologies that there hasn't been much content this month. Obviously we'll do a little bit more in March depending on what happens. Um, I believe I, there's a Zoya Spring collection coming. I'm going to do a haul video. I've got to finish up my D-stash. So there's certainly some things that are coming but apologies if it's been a bit quiet this month. So after I say all of that, I'm then gonna show you a ton of polishes because like I say, there's uh, six that I wore when I had broken nails and then there is about eight to 10 that I wore post breakage. And I do tend to change my nail polish once a day, which may answer why I managed to cram so many in. So let's dive in. So they're all indies for the new ones for this month. So we'll start with Moonshine Manny and this is Sugar Sugar. This is one of their Project Dupe It range and it's a dupe of an OPI. So it's this light gray, with kind of a rawer unicorn um, flash to it. Um, I haven't got the original OPI to compare it to. I have had some of the other ones that Phoebe has have done in the past, so I can do direct comparisons. But in the photos of the one that it looks like, it does look similar. The only thing for me is this was a little bit sheer. I wish it was a bit more opaque quicker, considering it is this darkish or like mid-toned grey-blue base. I would have hoped that would have been more opaque than what it was. But you, what you're seeing here is three coats of Sugar Sugar by Moonshine Manny. A painted polish and this is Sail La Vie, um, a beautiful kind of mid-tone, denim-y, aquamarine-y kind of blue with a ton of rainbow glitters in here, which is a little bit more unusual um, because it, it does kind of contrast in a way. So there is orange glitters, there is purple, there is pink, there is green, there is gold, there is yellow, and there is no blue. So it's kind of the blue base with then every other rainbow glitter in there. Um, these crellies from Painted Polish are perfection. They're the formula has been perfected so much over these years and um, they really know what they're doing over there so it was nice easy two coater a nice mixture of glitter and base perfect so two coats of Sail La Vie by Painted Polish of course we have a hair polish this month and it is cast in bronze uh, I really love this combination it's kind of like a light plummy purple and then the um, bronze glitters are very orangey bronze so it's a bit of a juxtaposition between the purple and the orange and I think that works really well you know me I do like a little bit of contrast in my polishes it built up completely opaque in three coats and yeah it was really fun I liked it again a, a kind of simple mix from them but I love that color combination that we had so three coats of Cast in Bronze by Hair Polish, which was the Black Friday polish from my order from By Danny Vienna from last year. I really like this, considering it was the freebie, not to say that it's not going to be good in any way, but obviously I didn't choose this, but I'm really, really happy with it. It glowed more purple on my nails. It's just called Black Friday, if I didn't say that already. It glowed more purple on the, in the pictures here. It's going to show a little bit more pink in the live video but on my nails it just shone with this really bright purple with a nice glow and there is then matte black glitters in there that was the only thing that was slightly odd because they you could see them but then I forgot that there was glitters in there because you, they're not popping out super standing out off of the nail then when I went to remove it I was like oh why is this scrubby oh yeah there's black glitters in there so this obviously no one can get because it was an exclusive Black Friday but I liked it Two Coats of Black Friday 2022 by Bank Danny Vienna. And if you're new to these videos, all indies will be linked down below along with the product list of everything that I mentioned. One from the massive polish pickup order that I did in June last year. This is Take Flight from Noodles Now Polish. Um, I'm very new to noodles. I think I only have three or four. Um, and all the ones I have are Crellies because I think that the Crellies are great. Um, so this is a nice light minty sea foam base. And then there is a rose gold, really, really pinky rose, rose gold glitters in there so my catallic against the cream base it built up completely opaque in three coats my only thing with it despite it being beautiful is i feel like i had something else in my collection that is similar i can't tell you what that is but when i painted it i just felt like i had this there was some familiarity there that this is stunning but have i worn this before no i definitely haven't worn it before so there must be something i own that is similar 
But this is three coats of Take Flight by Noodles Nail Polish. Another Crelly, which is kind of a metallic-y combination, is Things Canola Get Better. And this is from Girly Bits, and it was a part of their Hella Handmade Creations theme when it was the theme was Canada. The brand is Canadian. It all makes sense. A really nice, bright, citrusy, apple-y a little bit, uh, bright green base. And then blue, metallic, almost like navy blue metallic glitters in there. So similar to the noodles when we get the metallic against the cream base. Would I say this is neon? It's maybe like a little bit of a, a just a bright green. I don't think we're quite bordering on neon there. And I thought that the navy in the green, again, was a bit of an unusual mix. I really liked it. It built up completely opaque. Um, and more, more of this, more of weird, unusual polishes. That is what I love. So things can only get better. And that was three coats, girly bits. I have two from a PBE. Yes, I'm still wearing polishes that I bought that were exclusive to Polish Beauty Expo from July last year. And there's plenty still more to come. So one is Lake It Easy by uh, KB Shimmer. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. I will say kind of what I mentioned with the noodles. That maybe I have polishes that are similar to this in my collection. Where it is a scattered silver holographic. And then the blue blaze with the really strong greeny turquoise flash. So maybe a combination that's been done before. But nevertheless when I applied it. I was stunned. I was silenced. It was gorgeous. I wanted to keep it on. I wanted to wear it forever. It was beautiful. So two coats of Lake It Easy by KB Shimmer. Then have Mural Mural on the wall, which was the door buster from a red eyed lacquer from a PBE. I really love this really unusual, really different. And like I said, that's tends to be what I go for when my collection is this large and I've been in the indie polish world for so long now. I'm just really looking for unusual polishes. It's an almost clear base. I want to say it's a very, very slightly greeny base. And then there's tons of, um, well, there's a pink flash and then tons of green metallic glitters and duochrome glitters. And they're very large and they kind of go from bronze to green with a little bit of a purpley flash. Um, really, really pretty. You do need three colors to build it up or you could probably wear one coat of this over a green or something complimentary just to give you that shimmer on the top but I really loved how it looked it's so original so different um, I wish red eyed lacquer would ship to the UK because there's actually loads from them that I would really really like to pick up uh, but for now, mural, mural on the wall, three coats, red-eyed lacquer. Another unusual Crelly mixture, and this is Dustinado from a Rogue Lacquer. I did pick this up at PBE, but it is not exclusive to the event. It was part of their Summer Storms collection, and as you can see, shimmery, um, duochrome, and I'm wearing one from them today, actually, as well, that you'll see, obviously, in March's favourites, but she does this thing where they're like, super speckly super flaky and they don't look like they were going to be opaque but they are very very opaque so it's a very very light gray base and then the glitters in here are this tiny shredded black flake and then there's an orangey kind of like a burn embers like you're getting the reds oranges browns dusty dustnado you get all of those types of things in there and it's just all the tiny tiny tiny, tiny little, little bitty flakes um, and they build up really opaque and they remove really easily and I love them and I'd say I'm wearing another one that's a kind of a similar effect from them at the moment. So you're looking at three coats of Dustnado by Road Lacquer. And the final new wear of the month is I'm Not A Prize To Be Won by Pampered Polishes and this is from their Aladdin collection um, and it's Jasmine's polish so it's a white crelly and then there is metallic purple, metallic gold, metallic red and metallic black it's scattered in there. I love their crellies. I've bought a lot from the Disney series that they've done. They've kind of done that. Like, the princesses have tended to be the Crellies. Obviously, I have my own one that we did in the Tarzan collection. Uh, the formula is really great. They build up super opaque. So three coats of I'm Not A Price To Be One by Pampered Polishes. So I tidy up. We then have six really quick ones that I wore at the start of the month when my nails were broken. So I fancy some glam polish. So the one first one is one that I wear a lot. And this is Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. They either did, it was either Elton John or when they did um, the film, which is now escaping me what the film was called, Rocket Man. That was a collection that came out. And it's the blue, purple with the strong red flash. And then there's scattered um, holographic glitters. I love, I've worn this a lot, um, really, really enjoy that one. Then Expecto Patronum, and I wanted to rewear this one because I didn't, it wasn't what I imagined when I picked this up. I was like, oh, that's pretty. Oh, I didn't think that was Expecto Patronum. But it's a green base with a strong red flash to it, and I really love that green to red. It's really unusual, and I didn't remember it like it was. Certainly, it was a different shade in my mind. Um, again, 
good one. I saw someone else post a swatch of this. This is Kelly Lacquer's Parade, so I knew I had to pick it out. It was one of those major uh, polishes of polish pickup that everybody loved. It came back in rewind, and it's red with matte blue, mid-toned blue, glitters. So good. I promised myself I would wear some 90 this month, so I did wear two. The first one is Cricut. Cricut is from their very first collection, and it is a linear holographic uh, black polish, which is very hard to do, which people might not think consider that is a hard polish to make because when you add spectra flare to which is the component of holographic is silver so when you add that into polishes it normally will tint the base so it's why it's really hard to do a white polish because it ends up being a pale gray and it's really hard to do a black polish because it then ends up being like a dark dark gray instead but a true nice lovely linear black holographic cricket and i did wear octorock which is from the Zelda collection I think uh, which is a nice plummy purple with gold scattered holographic glitters not flakies glitters and the last one of the month is Millennium Sparkle by Jen and Berries which I got from a PBE as one of the exclusives I remember when I wore this a few months ago that how easy it was to apply how great it looked as the final result and it's a mid-toned blue and then there is silver and black little shredded flakes in there I really love it. Obviously, picked it out, wore it again. It was easy to remove, easy to apply. I loved it. So that is everything for the month of February. Like I said, it doesn't feel, it feels like a lot still, even though to me, it does not feel like a lot at all. Um, but yeah, I'm already obviously carrying on wearing polishes, looking forward to some new ones coming through. I'm almost at a point where everything that is unworn is on the two racks. I think I have about four or five polishes literally in this box here. But other than that, everything that I own that is unworn is behind me, which hasn't happened in a really, really, really long time. Uh, before I go, I just want to say again, thank you so much to everybody that's picked up from my D-Stash this month. Um, the D-Stash went up in January and there's been sales continually through into February as well. So thank you so much to everybody that's bought them. I'm very happy that they've gone to new loved homes. So let me know what you wore in February. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.